Hello, so mixing things up a little bit with this video, I am going to do a vlog style video um, of the last sort of week, getting ready for Christmas and also I am rotating onto my next job um, as an F2 doctor, foundation year two, um, and I am going to be starting A&E, so I hope you enjoy the video and yeah, let me know what you think. Here, Jordan and I are celebrating our first Christmas in our own home and so we need to go and get a treat. As you can see there are so many trees to choose from but eventually we settled with a seven foot Nordman which by the time we got it in the stand was as tall as our eight foot ceiling so we had to snip a little bit off to get the indoors. Here we go. This was the first time I'd ever decorated a tree by myself. Um, so it was quite fun and I'd been collecting baubles for the last couple months so it wasn't too much of an expensive chunk in one go. And I'm quite happy with the end result. I think it looked really nice. I did have to try and put them on and off a few times but eventually we got there. So I knew all morning that I really wanted to do a workout um, and I just kept on trying to, I don't know, gather the motivation to be able to do one but I just couldn't be bothered to change. And then I happened to be going onto YouTube and I saw this workout by Blogilati so I thought, you know what, let me just put it on the TV. I didn't bother changing so I actually did the workout in my pyjamas which is fine because um, I can just wear a new pair for 
the night. Um, so yeah, so I did this workout. It was pretty good. It was nice, sort of Pilates, uh, which I haven't done in a while. It was quite tough. I really felt the burn, but it was good. So it was only 15 minutes-ish, um, but it was a nice workout. I got my body moving, um, and then I was ready to shower and get on with a bit more of my day. So after I showered and stuff, I decided to prepare some dinner. I was going to make a curry. Um, I faffed around with my hair a bit and all this sort of footage made me cringe, so I haven't really put it in. Yeah, I quite like that. Let's just normalise not very nice kitchens. Yeah, the, this weird thing here is where there was a division in the room. There was a breakfast room, which is this part, and then the kitchen which made just two very small awkward rooms so maybe a month or so after we moved in maybe two months we um just knocked down the wall and it was quite straightforward it was only a stud wall but now we have this beautiful uh, sort of space in the wall and on the floor from where the wall used to be okay so instead of me awkwardly trying to vlog i'll just show you this bit of me chopping up this lovely butternut squash ready for the curry Enjoy. Okay, now that's done, I need to do a bit of um having up in here so that can I just spent some time, I put on some music as if I was in a French cafe, I think it was a cafe in Paris playlist and I just tried to get on with some of the work and get through the lectures. So I've cooked the, um, what's called butternut squash, in, uh, I just put some oil and curry powder and it just smells amazing. For some reason I find it oddly satisfying to watch chopping, so here, enjoy some chopping. As you can also see, I like to spend a lot of time in my dressing gown. No shame. Welcome to Cooking with Mitzi. I'll talk you through this curry recipe that I made up as I went along. So I start by boiling some water. I saute the uh, onion and garlic in water. I'm then adding garam masala, tandoori powder, turmeric, giving it a good mix, adding in the peppers, adding some chickpea, some turmeric, frozen spinach and some coconut milk and then give it a stir, a bit of chilli, it was a bit runny so I added in some lentils and there we are. Not sure if there's a car waiting for me, so. So I've just had my emergency medicine induction. We had a little tour around the department, which was good. Um, I'm running out of breath. Um, so that was fun. Seems like a really nice team. Um, I just did a bit of my audit, and now I'm gonna head home. I've just been told that a delivery has been delivered, and someone signed it, and I don't know who signed it, so. I'm gonna head home. Jenny.